Hi everyone, I hope you are all safe and well. I just wanted to give you a little information about the expectations for week 13 and give you some reminders about a couple of assignments that are coming down the pipeline. So we are in week 13 starting on Thursday, April the 16th. So for week 13 you're going to be looking at preschool and kindergarten development. So last week you learned about infants and toddlers, so this week you're going to learn about preschoolers and kindergartners. So you're going to click into the course module. In the course module you're going to see first the content folder. So you're going to click this to launch it. Once you're in that content folder you're going to see that there's a resource folder that you need to access and there is also a videos folder. In the resource folder there's going to be <clears throat> excuse me, information on both preschoolers and kindergartners. Within that folder you're going to find some information that gives you the different developmental milestones that children in preschool and kindergarten will be meeting. So you're going to see different physical development skills, different cognitive development skills, and different social emotional development skills that they will be meeting in each of those age groups. In addition to that, you're also going to see some different preschool activities and kindergarten activities that would be appropriate to do. And then I've also provided you with a link to look at the Illinois Early Learning Standards so you can see a list of developmental skills that teachers are looking to assess and develop in children in preschool and kindergarten as well. So make sure that you take time to go through that information so that you can get a really clear picture of what development looks like in preschool and kindergarten students. In addition to the resource folder, you have a videos folder. The video folder has videos that show the different developmental domains of preschoolers and kindergartners as well. So you're going to see physical development, cognitive development, social emotional development in these age groups. Again, these videos do come from the Harper Library, so when you click into those and you launch them, you will have to log on to the library to be able to access those videos. So make sure that you just use, I think it's either your portal or your Blackboard password and username for that. So that's how you access the library for that as well. In addition, you do have an application assignment. That's due on Thursday, April the 23rd. What you'll be doing for this application assignment is watching this short video, and then you're going to discuss how both the teacher and the activity is supporting the development of the preschool children. So when you are writing this assignment, make sure that you're reflecting on all of the developmental domains. So make sure you're talking about what physical development you see supported, what social emotional development you see being supported, and how cognitive development is being supported in this video through the activity and through the interactions of the teacher. So that's what you're going to reflect on for that application assignment. So that is what is due for week 13. Now I just wanted to give you some more information about some other upcoming assignments. So if you click back in your announcements page on Blackboard and scroll down, I sent an announcement on March 20th about meeting with your advisor. So if you remember, this is a Smart Start class and one of the requirements for this class is that you have to meet with your academic advisor. This is not meeting with Kathy Nikolai. This is meeting with your assigned advisor that you receive when you enroll at Harper. <clears throat> so to do that right now, since we can't go on campus, all you have to do is click on this link here, complete the form, and your, an advisor will reach out to set up a meeting to complete your educational plan. Every Monday I get an email 
saying who has met with their advisor and who hasn't. So I do have a list of people that have met with their advisor. So I will know who has and who hasn't met with their academic advisor. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. Um, but more importantly, probably just reach out to your advisor to make sure that you've met this requirement as well. In addition to meeting with your advisor, another requirement was doing a professional development plan, which is something that you already did and submitted for a grade earlier this semester. So that requirement has been taken care of. The final requirement for this Start Smart course is to do some sort of a campus scavenger hunt. So I had posted that way back in the first week of class in the course module, but it wasn't due until the end of April. So I've moved that assignment so you guys could find it easier in the week that it's due. So on April 30th, that campus scavenger hunt is due. So it's right here. So in week 14, you can click in there and find that requirement. So you just click on this link here. The directions are here. You can click on this camp campus scavenger hunt checklist here. And then you can just search online through the Harper website to find out where all of those buildings and resources are located and fill out the information and submit it. And then you'll just submit it here like an assignment. So that is due on April the 30th. The final thing I wanted to remind you of is the observation requirement. So a few weeks back I had posted a video about those requirements. If you click on this assignment explanation videos link here, I put the video here. You can go in. There's additional information in this video as well, but there's a good chunk of the video that's focused on the updated observation expectations. So if you haven't watched this video yet, please go back and watch it again so you are clear about those observation expectations. Once you've watched the video, you're going to click into this observation information link here. And here is all the content you need to complete that assignment. Here's all the videos that you need to watch. And then here are the observation paper guidelines. So make sure that you are clear on this assignment and what it entails. Again, this assignment is not due till the very end of the semester, but we are approaching week 13, and we only have a few more weeks of the semester le left. So I would encourage you to make sure that you are getting this done so that you don't have to leave this for the very, very last week of the semester. If you have any questions about this assignment, please let me know. That's all I have for now. I don't think we will be meeting for any more mandatory Blackboard Collaborate sessions. I will just post videos on a weekly basis updating you on what needs to be done to make sure that you guys are clear on the expectations. If you need to meet with me face to face on a one-on-one -on -one basis, then just send me an email and I will schedule an appointment for us to meet through Blackboard Collaborate. I am more than happy to do that. If you need anything else, please feel free to email me or give me a call during my conference hours and I would be more than happy to talk with you and answer any questions or address any concerns that you have. Stay safe, stay well, and I will be talking to you guys soon. Thank you guys.